main event of the evening. Gervonta Davis and Yuriokis Gamboa. The height and the reach advantage in favor of the 25-year-old out of Baltimore, Maryland. So that is how the numbers shake themselves out. This is for the WBA Lightweight Championship. Gervonta Davis and Yuriokis Gamboa. It is main event time. And now here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the State Farm Arena here in Atlanta, Georgia for the featured bout of the evening brought to you by Mayweather Promotions, GTB Promotions, TGB Promotions and Showtime. We are sponsored by MGM Resorts, Brooklyn Boxing and Atlanta's own quality control music. This bound is sanctioned by the WBA. The president, Gilberto Jesus Mendoza. The supervisor is Renzo Bagnariol. Judging at ringside, from Georgia, Ed Canner. From Nevada, Dave Moretti. And from New Jersey, Steve Weisfeld. <laughs> Introducing a third man to the ring, the referee in charge, who will be giving instructions after the introductions, Jack Reese. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBA lightweight championship of the world. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Atlanta, Georgia, it's showtime! Introducing you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks, white and gold trim, fighting out of Miami, Florida by way of Guantanamo, Cuba. He weighed in at 134 and one half pounds. With a record of 30 wins and two losses, he has 18 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight making his seventh world title appearance, here is the WBA number two ranked lightweight contender. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the acclaimed former unified featherweight champion of the world, introducing El Ciclón de Guantanamo, Yuri Orquiz Gamboa. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, Wearing rose gold trunks with white trim, proudly representing his home of Baltimore, Maryland. He weighed in at 134 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his outstanding campaign to the ring with a record of 22 wins, no losses, 21 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the sensational young star of boxing, the WBA number one ranked lightweight contender. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the hard-hitting, popular, and undefeated two-time champion of the world, introducing Gervonta And once again, here's our referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Jack Reese. Right here. Come on, brother. You got it? Okay, I can't see it. Yes, I can't see it. Look at me, mira. Okay. My piece. These, poquito arriba. I'm gonna let them work in here, okay? Yours are right on the line. If they come up, I'm gonna let them work in here. If they creep. I gave you both instructions. I wanna remind you, fight fair, fight hard, fight clean. Listen and obey my commands all the time. Protect yourself at all times. Pull up the both of you. 
It is our main event of the evening here before a raucous crowd in Atlanta. Gervonta Davis trying to become a two division world champion as he takes on that man, Yuriokis Gamboa. Expect fireworks in this one. Gervonta Davis with a high knockout percentage. Yuriokis Gamboa looking to shock the world. We are underway here in Atlanta. Davis is a southpaw. Sticks the jab immediately right on the abdomen of Gamboa. There's a jab right to the abdomen by Davis. Gamboa looks extremely big and strong. My goodness, he was shredded. This is probably the best we've ever seen. Yodiokis Gamboa, at least physically, looks very tight. Does Gamboa. Davis is 13 years younger than Gamboa. There's a left right to the body by Davis. Davis, what a year. Started it off with a first round knockout against Hugo Ruiz in February. He was supposed to fight Abner Matis, but an eye injury derailed those plans. Still, a first round knockout in February. Followed it up with the homecoming fight in Baltimore in front of over 15,000. He stopped Ricardo Nunez in the fourth. What will he do to Yuriokis Gamboa? Gamboa, the Olympic gold medalist from 2004. Only two losses to Terence Crawford and Robinson Castellanos. There's a big straight left that backed up Gamboa, followed by a big right hook. Plenty of dynamite in the hands of Gervonta Davis. There's a straight left backing up Gamboa. There's a straight left that caught the attention of the Cuban. so relaxed and calm under pressure. He has fought. He's been in there with the world's best. There's a straight left by Davis. This one is scheduled for 12. Not one in the books. See how you missing up top because you don't want to get hit up top. You ever say? Shoot here, here, shoot here. Alright? Keep working on your grip because we got time here. Hey, hey, Tank, breaking them down. Slide to your right a little bit, set the bricks out up. Let me throw some feints in there, here. Right. Exactly. Right. He's so hit him. Retico abajo. Tan! Lávalo por arriba. Cogelo con reacción por arriba. Ya le hiciste dos movimientos. Why don't you come upstairs? No te puedes parar frente a él. Frente a él no te puedes parar porque ahí viene la recta. Let's take a look at some of the action from the first. There's that big straight left and Gamboa ate it well. Not easy. The chin of Gamboa tested early in the first round. Davis trying to become the world champion in the second division. It's clear. Fans love to watch him fight. He has that Mike Tyson-esque error of supremacy around him. We'll see if he can deliver. At the time, he was 
the youngest world champion in the United States since that moment. Other guys have come to the forefront, guys like Teofimo Lopez, along with David Haynes, Shakur Stevenson, David Benavides, just to name a few. Mario Barrios as well. Good right hook to the body. And ball spinning around. Gambo looks very relaxed, but he's got to be able to go and start to generate some offense. Is that right? Right to the body. A straight left down goes Gambo on a heavy straight left. Well, there goes that power. Gervonta Davis is a finisher, and he has just under the halfway mark to go out and bring an end of the night to Gamboa. Gamboa trying to hold on, but Gamboa seems to be relaxed. He got buzzed and put down. Davis on the attack. But back comes Gambo with the right hand. Big left from Davis at close distance. Jack Reese allowing them to fight out of the break. Gambo still seems to be wobbled. Davis is coming forward, a big straight left. They're talking about the shoe of Gambo is an issue. Something about the shoe is what the corner is yelling at Jack Reese. A straight left to the body by Davis. 20 something seconds remaining. Gamboa hey, trying to make it out of the Come second on. round. Take left. A left hook, final moments of the second. Can Gamboa survive? Big heavy punches that were missed by Davis. A straight left spray in Gamboa. That ends the second. They're talking about the shoe. What? That the shoe is coming off of Yuriokis Gamboa. They pointed to his right shoe. And earlier tonight in the locker room, they were testing out the shoes. Was well, Yuriokis Gambo? Great job by our staff to find that. And Jack Reese is looking at the shoe. Time is being called. What's wrong with it? The crowd, the crowd is booing. Gamboa is complaining about something wrong with his shoe. They're, they will take care of it in the next round. I don't know what they are saying. It's something with the right shoe. Maybe it is the traction, but nonetheless, we are into the third round, a bizarre sequence in between rounds. We'll see if Gamboa can start to generate some offense or if that shoe is a big factor along with the stop, punching stop, power stop, of Gervonta Davis. Stop, I said stop, Box. Davis so quick, elusive, fast muscle fibers. Good head movement as well. Davis looking to make it 3 0 this year with three knockouts. There's a big straight left, but a right by Gamboa. Gamboa caught Davis. Gamboa came into this fight a 20 to 1 underdog. 
Okay, you gotta bring it up a little bit. Hundred seconds remaining here in the third. There's a right there hand by Gamboa. Gamboa appears to be the bigger man inside that ring. Still stalking Gamboa. <laughs> jab right to the abdomen by Davis. Great job, Eric Cameron crew. As we straight left. Two big straight lefts that backed up Gamboa. Stopping him in his tracks, another one. It's like target practice now by Davis. Four straight laps, power punches as the crowd here in Atlanta ooing and awing by the hand speed and the power of Davis. He's flashy. He has the style and the ability to bring the masses to the arena. Does Gervonta Davis a straight left that connects? There's a left right to the body by Davis. Well, Gamboa withstood the barrage in the third. Round four comes to a close. Four. Taking a look at it, and that's the knockdown in the last round. Okay, I, I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Okay, so I'll tell you what. I want you to get tape and I want you to wrap it. No, no, hold on. I want you to get tape and I want you to wrap it around next round. There's that straight left by Jermonte Davis that put down Gamboa in the previous round. So as the replay was going on, just so the viewers know, Jack Reese came over to Gamboa and said, tape up the right shoe. If there is a problem, tape up the right shoe. Come on, man. So put some tape along the right shoe and Gervonta Davis going right back to work, round four. So the knockdown happened in the second round. Gamboa remained upright in the third. Ray Flores, ringside, happy holidays everybody. This is for the lightweight championship of the world. It's a vacant title right now. Gervonta Davis aiming to become a two division world champion and continue in his superstardom. Javante Davis waiting for Gamboa to try to lunge in. There's a straight left connecting, stopping Gamboa in his tracks. One hundred seconds remaining here in the fourth. Gamboa starting to get more aggressive. Good left uppercut to the body and stop Gamboa. Big straight left with Gamboa through a right hand. Gamboa realizes he's going to have to fight fire with fire to a degree. Now he's trying to hold under a minute left here in the fourth. 
Gervonta Davis in total control. Straight left backs up. Gamboa. There's a right hook to the body by Davis. Straight left by Davis. Davis plowing forward like a tank. So apropos because of his nickname, Gervonta Tank Davis. This is why he has the cheat, the GTD on his trunks. Final moments of the fourth. A big straight left that backed up Gamboa, but Gamboa comes forward. Suatelo, suatelo. Stop with the bell. Stop, stop, stop. That ends the round. So now the corner of Gamboa, they want to tape the right shoe. If we can go and look in, here we go. I need him every round. Okay. You got to move on that round real quick. You got to get out. Look at that. They are going to tape the shoe of Yuriokis Gamboa. Round five of this one is scheduled for 12. Davis and Gamboa, the right shoe has been taped up for Gamboa. So they hopefully have that rectified. But look at Gamboa start off strong as we commence the fifth round. Straight left backing up Gamboa, but Gamboa not to be deterred. The left hook that was blocked by Davis. Left to the body by Davis. Davis is so strong and quick and he throws a machine gun burst. Big left uppercut connecting. Two big uppercuts by Davis as Gamboa retreats. A big shot by Davis. Davis now teeing off on Gamboa. Gamboa might be hurt, holding on to the top rope. Gamboa's been down 15 times in his career, but now he's fighting on sheer guts. A big right hook by Davis. Just over the halfway mark of the fifth. Gamboa trying to hold. A big left uppercut. Connecting heavy shots from Gervonta Davis. A right hook. Oh my, look at this onslaught by the 25-year-old out of Baltimore. I don't know how much more of this Gamboa can take. He is getting lit up by big shots, a straight left that found its mark, followed by a right hook. Davis is trying to close the show in spectacular fashion. A big shot to the body by Gervonta Davis, right uppercut. Davis, pinpoint accuracy for the majority of his punches here during the sequence. Davis looks so sharp and fast. He's having very little issue with Yuriokis Gamboa. Left to the body, followed by left upstairs, and that ends the fifth. Yeah, 
Let's take a walk back and witness what we saw heavy left, a left cross from Davis. A left uppercut, big, big punches from Gervonta Davis. Round six. You gotta get you gotta get out of your goddamn way. Fox. This one is scheduled for 12. Gervonta Davis aiming to become a two-division world champion. Yuriokis Gamboa. Going after what would be the biggest win of his professional career. If you're Gamboa, you've tasted the power of Davis. He was getting hammered in the fifth round. Was Yuriokis Gamboa. Davis, when he puts and applies the pressure, very difficult to keep him off of you because of the hand speed and how quickly he can connect and the volume and the force that he connects with. He's heavy handed, is the 25 year old, the former super featherweight champion of the world. And look at the power punches for five rounds, almost 50% connect percentage. So he's extremely accurate. Jab right to the midsection by Davis. Jab right to the body by Davis again. That was a Floyd Mayweather staple, the jab right to the body. It's like a stabbing jab. Takes a lot out of your lungs, the air out of your lungs. There's a right, you see, Davis will press the issue and try to finish off Gamboa. Only two guys have been able to do such a thing. There's a straight left, snapping the head back of Gamboa. Under 30 seconds left here in the sixth. A right hook to the body. Left. Gamboa trying to tie up. Final 10 seconds of the sixth. are halfway home. We'll take a look and see the top knockout percentages in the sport. Better be of Subriel Matias, and then you see Gervonta Davis and Deontay Wilder. Davis, number three, talk about some elite company. And let's take a look, and Davis seeking that knockdown. Alvin Ford, his longtime trainer in the no, no, corner no, of Javante Davis. Keep inching to him to make him open up here, to make him work. When you get close, he can't fucking fight in the inside. Trust me. How long you been trusting me? Get close to him and just keep hoping. When I say penitentiary, put that knife in him. Put him in him. Okay? Right, put him together. Yeah, go to the body. Let's go, let's go. Protect the wild shots. Okay, let's go. You got to go by skills. You got to jab. Use your jab. Round seven. seven. This one is scheduled for 12. Yokis Gamble and Gervonta Davis. Davis has brought a tremendous crowd here to the State Farm Arena here in Atlanta. 
Davis has a one-year-old daughter who lives here with her mother. Davis spends quite a bit of time here in Atlanta. His hometown is Baltimore. If you're Yuriokis Gamboa, the jam needs to be more part of your weaponry. But he has to be so cognizant of the explosive hand speed of Gervonta Davis. So far, Gamboa has been down in the fight, but he's not going away. He's showing quite a bit of resistance to Gervonta Davis. There's a right. That was probably the best punch in a few rounds for Gamboa. A straight left for Davis. Gamboa pressing and putting his weight on Davis. Just over the halfway mark of the seventh. Gamboa tying up Davis, trying to make him uncomfortable. Right to the body by Davis. And Boa chasing around Gervonta Davis. And Davis aiming, looking for his opening. Single leg takedown. Certainly not allowed, and Gamboa telling Jack Reese hey, he's holding behind that, he's pushing the head down. As we near the end of the seventh. The end of seven. Go back and good left to the body, right on the abdomen, but a right for Gamboa as he responded. Good left hook by Gamboa. Taking a look at the action again. And here is when it, Davis, or Gamboa, said that Davis pushed his head down, which is why he pretty much ran into him and took him to the ropes. Let's go outside the ring, let's go. Round eight, this one is scheduled for 12. Box. Well, earlier in the fight, it didn't look like Gamboa was going to make it too far into this fight, but he has shown his chin and his wherewithal. Stop. I break, everybody, stop. Jack Reese will step between the two. This is for a vacant lightweight championship. Boa stepping in with the left hook. And the cap of Gamboa, they're telling him Davis is tiring. He is getting tired. Right hand for Gamboa. There's a big right for the Cuban. Jack Reese is letting them fight out of the break. He steps in between the two. The right down the center. Gambo 
was changing his levels as 100 seconds to go in the eighth. Wonder if the weight cut might have had an issue or been a factor as to why Davis has slowed down. That very well could be part of what we are witnessing. And the fact that Gamboa has withstood some heavy artillery from Davis. Goes left to the body by the 25-year-old. Under a minute left here in the eighth. Straight left by Davis. A right hand by Gamboa. It's not through the guard of Davis. So Gamboa slowly trying to get back himself back in the fight. Left hook by Gervonta Davis, followed by a right. He caught Gamboa. Another big, heavy shot. Davis, big straight left. Down goes Gamboa again. Get back in the corner. You got to stay here. And that ends the round. Big knockdown again for Gervonta Davis as they spray water right on Yuriokis Gamboa. And now gotta get all the water out of there. Back in the Look at the knockdown. Hey, hey, to Tell him I gave him a full minute rest. Gamboa got blitzed with a left cross from Gervonta Davis. Taking a look at it again. Gamboa hanging around in the pocket for too long, and then this happens. Boom, right on the button as he dispatches of Gamboa. Gamboa came forward, and Davis found his Mark Bink. Let's go, let's go! Nueve, nueve. Round nine, this one is scheduled for 12. Gervonta Davis literally almost running off his stool to gain the center of the ring. He wants to end the fight now. And Drag Reese, one of the best referees, if not the best referee in the world, watching the action. But it may appear as if Gamboa might have stunned Davis for a brief moment. He certainly caught his attention to Gamboa. There's a big right hook that staggered Gamboa. A straight left. Gamboa being walked down, two minutes to go in the night. Davis trying to let his hands go. A straight left, Gamboa coming forward, he eats a straight left. And Davis opening up. A right hook that connects for Davis. Stop, stop. We are nearing the halfway mark of the night. Oh, 
celebrate, but he gets clipped. Gamboa in a world of trouble. Davis teeing off on him. Gamboa trying to tie up in a slip now. With 64 seconds left in the ninth. Under a minute remaining as the uh, left eye is starting to swell for Gamboa. They're telling Gamboa to hold on to Davis. 40 seconds left in the ninth. Davis looking to try to finish off Uriokis Gamboa and be the third man to do so. Davis with a stellar 2019. Two knockouts this year, looking to make it 3-0 here in 2019. Round nine in the books. Give him a deep breath, Cal. Hey, that's got me holding up. I got to get you. I got to get you. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Give me three deep breaths. Give me three deep breaths. Give me a little bit. Just a little bit. Get big and cold. Hey, Tank. Get back on your jab and collect yourself. Yeah. All right? Don't worry about knocking them out. When you set it up, a lot of things talking jab. When you see it, Tank, but don't go in there looking for it too hard. Right. Well, he's still dangerous. You're throwing the right shots, Tank, but don't throw the right shots. Ahí le duele abajo, mete los ganchos abajo. 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 Pásalo suavecito para los lados. Mete los ganchos abajo. 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 Gervonta Davis is trying to become a world champion in his second weight division. Yuriokis Gamboa, the 2004 gold medalist for Cuba, former world champion. Gervonta Davis would love nothing more than to finish off Gamboa here this evening in front of a tremendous crowd here in Atlanta at the State Farm Arena. Davis with the jab to the body of Gamboa. really wonder how much the weight cut affected Davis from his ability to really open up his arsenal and try to finish off Gamboa tonight. Gamboa steps in with a left hook followed by a straight right. Gamboa letting Davis know, hey, I'm still very much in this fight. has never been this far in a professional fight, so this is newfound territory for the former super featherweight champion of the world. Swatelo, swatelo. Big shot by Gamboa, who clocked Davis with the combination. Oh, my. That was the best sequence so far for Gamboa. Some tense moments from the fans here in Atlanta as Davis ate it well. If you're Gamboa, curious to see if you're gonna go out or you're gonna go out to your shield and really try to turn the tables in your favor. Straight left that caught the attention of Gamboa. Final 
Gambolo stages, couple of straight lefts. Gambolo retaliates with the right. Big straight left from Davis, and that ends the 10th. We're approaching the championship round. Look at the sequence as Davis was looking away from Gamboa and a left followed by a right, followed by a left. Davis took his eyes off Gamboa for a brief moment and Gamboa gave him a three piece. There's a left, here's a right, here's a left. But Davis would answer back, entering the championship rounds. Here at the State Farm Arena, Gervonta Davis. Seeking another world title in his second division. Straight left that connected by Davis. Davis keeping his distance. Gamboa clipped Davis as Davis had his eyes off of him in the 10th round. And a three punch combination, but Davis absorbed it very well. Gamboa wrestling with Davis. I think Gamboa's in the mindset of, hey, I just want this to go the distance. I'm just trying to survive, which is why he's holding and coming forward, grabbing onto the arms of Davis. He wants to be able to say he took Gervonta Davis to the distance. Only one of the men has done that. A big straight left on the ear of Gamboa. 80 seconds remaining. On the eleventh. Okay, you're right. That's the second time you hit my You do that again. Okay? Are you good? Jack Reese warning Gamboa about holding behind the head. He said that's the second time I've told you one more time, and I will deduct the point. Gamboa is already down by a significant margin on the scorecards. One more round. Let's hold him. Tell him. Bravo. Use his weight Let's against go. him. Here. Tight. When he pushes you back, turn. You get it? When you turn him, jump on his ass. 
Let's take a look. There's that big straight left. That connected by Gervonta Davis. What a smart thing. And now Davis. Oh, big straight left that backed up Gamboa. Davis trying to finish off the former world champion. Let him go, let him go. Sweat that off, sweat that off. Sweat that off, sweat that Stop, stop. Stop holding. Jack Reese again warning Gamboa about holding behind the head. Right hook, connecting. Davis trying to let his hands go. Gamboa crowding Davis. And that is a slip. That was a slip. Davis, his gloves touched the canvas, but that was a slip. Big straight left, a couple big shots. Davis trying to finish off Gamboa. Over the World Champion! That's how you close the show. Gervonta Davis went out and finished off Yuriokis Gamboa. Bo obviously disappointed, but my goodness, the hand speed, the power. Gamboa visibly disappointed. But there is a very happy and elated Gervonta Davis. Immediately. Leo, cut the eye. Gervonta Davis, 25 years of age, he literally has the boxing world in the palm of his hand. And there is his one year old baby girl who lives here in Atlanta with her mother. Gervonta Davis, a proud father. Oh. <laughs> Gervonta Davis sends the thousands in attendance here at the State Farm Arena home happy. Let's take a look at the end of the fight. Big straight left from Davis. An uppercut dispatching him on the canvas and Jack Reese had seen enough. Take a look at it again. And there is that big left hook. As we'll go back and look at it again. There's that left uppercut. Oh my. What a wicked left uppercut. And Jack Reese said, no, enough is enough. Gamboa, not too much resistance. Let's take a look at it again. Here is this left uppercut. Take a look at it again. Wake up. No, good night. That's what it was. And crashing to the canvas was Yuriokis Gamboa. And Gervonta Davis becomes a two-division world champion. 
here tonight and the adulation from what was a tremendous year from Gervonta Davis. And successful in his new weight class is Gervonta Davis. There he is with his longtime trainer, Calvin Ford. Gervonta Davis looks sensational. We know he can do 12. There is Yuriokis Gamboa speaking with Showtime translator Felix DeJesus. And here is Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 17 seconds at round number 12. A referee in charge, Jack Reese stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. He is the new WBA lightweight champion of the world, Gervonta Tank Davis. So Gervonta Davis elevates his record to 23-0 with 22 knockouts. He is a two-division world champion. My team, Midwell Promotion, Al Heyman, um, my uh, close team, and uh, definitely the beautiful, the beautiful city of Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you all. Now your performance, how would you assess what you did here this evening, knocking him down in the second, eighth, and twelfth round? How do you feel you performed? Um, coming to this fight, I knew that Gambo was, you know, he was a tough uh, opponent. Everybody was writing him off, but I know he was a fan. As you know, as you see in the ring, I was catching him, I was hurting him, but he still was alert. So I know that he was different from any opponents that I've fought, fought before, before. And also him fighting the, um, Terrence Crawford. So I knew that he was a great opponent. So um, I believe my, my performance tonight was a, a C plus. C plus, did weight play a role in this? Not making the weight and, and perhaps the way you train uh, deplete you in some shape or form? Um, no, you know, I asked it. You know, I was fighting at 130 my last camp, so um, it was trouble making the weight. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't really a problem. It was just um, short short time, you know, things like that. I blame myself. You know, I don't blame nobody around me. I don't blame you know nobody but myself. So um, I'm improving. Do you feel more comfortable at this weight? You told us before the fight you weighed in at 146. Do you feel more comfortable at 135? I feel comfortable at both weights. You know, I think I can maintain 130 and 135. All right, could you tell that his right leg was hurt after the knockdown in the second round or that he had a shoe malfunction or something? Could you tell that his right leg was hobbled? No, I was mainly focused on me catching him with clean shots. And I'm hurting him, but he's not, he's not falling. He's not, he's not going nowhere. So I knew I was in a fight. I knew I was going to do some rounds tonight. You have never gone past the ninth round. You now went into the 12th round, and you get a 12th round knockout. What will that do for you going forward? What was the experience like? Um, it was a great experience, you know, actually putting uh, Gambo, a tough opponent like him, on my resume, it made a lot, you know. I'm still, I'm only 25 years old, so I'm learning each and every day. Um, 2020 will be a big year. Before we talk about 2020, you filled up this arena. So you've now filled it up in Baltimore. You've come down here to Atlanta and filled it up. Clearly the fans are excited to see you perform. What does that do for you? Uh, it's not what do, what do for me, it's what do for us. You know, I, I couldn't do this without them, and they couldn't do it without me. So I'm proud to be their champion, and um, I'm just thankful. And shout out to the kids that came from Baltimore. You know, we had over 30 kids that came out. So thank y'all. I love y'all. Atlanta, Georgia, I love y'all. This is my first time, but it won't be my last. Now 2020, uh, as we look forward, Leo Santa Cruz, Lomachenko, what would you like to do? Uh, I'm the top dog, and as you know, there's no safety on this Glock, so Bring them on. All right. I know you'll be watching the Ravens as well. Perhaps we'll see you at the Super Bowl. Big trust. <laughs> All right. Let's bring you. How are you? 
You okay? And Felix de Jesus will translate. ¿Cómo te sientes, Jordis? Bien, bien, bien. Bien, bien. He feels okay, but he definitely had problems with the foot. What happened? Was it your shoe or was it your ankle? What happened to you? No, fue el tobillo, fue el tendón. Aquí el talón de Aquiles. I think I ruptured my Achilles tendon. In the second round after you went down? Eso fue en el segundo round cuando te caíste. Yeah. You were never able to... Before I fell in the second round, that's when I heard it. You were never able to put much pressure on it. Did you, did you know it right then that it snapped? Most people, when they have an Achilles rupture, they know it right then. Tú supiste que ahí mismo había ruptura en el tendón cuando le pusiste... I'm a warrior and I kept going, but as soon as I felt it, I knew it was ruptured. Yeah, people are seeing me that I'm hopping, like I can't put pressure on it. You, you told your corner you can't go, you can't go, and you told everybody who came in there. Did you think about stopping after the second round? Después del segundo round, tú le dijiste a la esquina que no podía seguir, que te sentía un problema. Le dije que tenía tenía su bastillo ahí, pero bueno, tú sabes, uno es un guerrero, tiene que seguir para adelante. Yeah, I wanted to keep going. I mean, I did tell my corner this is the problem, but I wanted to keep going. I'm a warrior. Could you detect that Tank Davis was maybe having a little lack of stamina, probably due to the weight issue and not making weight? Could you detect in the later rounds that? Uh, he wasn't as fresh and as sharp as he had been earlier. Tú pensaste que estaba perdiendo estamina Davis debido a que no hizo peso la primera vez, algo que tú podías tomar. No, 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 yo no estoy mirando eso. Yo trabajo de acuerdo con el boxeador, trabaja conmigo, pero lo que no puedo ir era fincar bien mi pie. Yeah, no, I didn't look at none of that. I'm as a boxer, I try to uh, see what I can do boxing him, and what I couldn't do is with my uh, Achilles tendon, I couldn't go anymore. Will you continue at your age? A very courageous performance. Do you want to continue at 135, or, or what will you do? Bastante coraje lo que demostraste en esta noche. Va a seguir en los 135 a la edad que tiene de 38 años. Sí, no, 135 me parece un buen peso. No hay un problema con eso. Y va a seguir. Sí, con eso. Yeah, I'm going to keep going, and 135 is my weight. That I want to stay there. Thank you. Appreciate it. Gracias. Gracias. All right, Morrow. Back to you. All right. Well, Gervonta Davis with a. 12th round stoppage against Yuriokis Gamboa. Gamboa obviously disappointed, said he will remain here at 135, but what a year. You're in 2019 for that young man. 25 years of age, Gervonta Davis becomes a world champion in his second division.